and welcome Gemini's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Robin. Welcome into the channel or welcome back if you're coming back. Love you very much. We are uh, calling upon the Most High. We're calling upon our higher power, your higher power, um, the divine beloved light within and without. Become manifest in our life right now. Protect and prepare us to speak and act in sacred ways. I call in all holy energy to support this work today. And I ask for a window of light to open portals of delight. Purify my intentions in space. And may there be positive results from this blessing today. Produce natural healing in every way. Gemini, this is your September reading. Welcome in. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you haven't noticed, I've got some citrines on the table for you guys. I think y'all should be wearing citrines. I have one of these on my neck. Yep, I've been having wonderful dreams. I haven't dreamt, dreamt in a long time like that. They're magical, too. It's really cool. So get tapped into your solar plexus. I call that the inner G. God, gratitude, grace, growth, goodness, gladness, glory. That's what I call it. Um, your true source. You know, they say the high priestess is relative to the solar plexus, um, the um, sacral region. I think her job is to manage the sacral region, bring it up into the solar plexus, and then make it manifest somehow. It's interesting because she knows how to do that. It's like giving like she's spiritual okay what is going on with gemini holy spirit in the month of september show me the goddess energies that represent our divine feminine receivers in the month of september for my gemini sun moon rising venus thank you everybody for your gifts your love your donations your good comments your sweetness um I know Geminis are real good at just unconditional love, you know? People don't understand that. They want boundaries and limits to everything, you know? Gemini's a little bit different, all right? So we have Maeve going through cycles and rhythms. They're relatively light, though. Look at the coloring. When you have the lavender colors, this means that the mind is shifting with the cycles and the rhythms. Honor the cycles of your body your energy levels, and your emotions in September. What else do we have for you? Show me the uh, feminine energy for Gemini in the month of September. Here we go. Ma'at, fairness, rules, laws. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. This is very recalming to my soul. Tell me what else has Gemini going on. Tell me if it, if it relates Awesome. Hit that like button and let me know that it did relate. And also, you know, you can leave me comments because I love chatting with you guys. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Show me Gemini, please. Mother Earth. Taking care of the planet. Taking care of your family. Helping out the community. And guardian. Either you're sacredly guarded or... You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. You're called upon to help with environmentalism somehow, cleaning up the world, making sure everything balances out. Your guides are definitely here for you. If you don't know any of these people, if you don't know any of them, you should definitely look up Mahat. Mahat wrote 42 laws that the Egyptians had to follow, and it was all on decent behavior. No stealing, no lying. Same thing as like the Ten Commandments, only much, much more explicit. And you might enjoy them. Here we go. Gemini, the scripture for your reading in September is Acts 2.21. It says, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So that's your, that's your message. Here we go. Show me, guides, what is Gemini's energy for the month of September. What's going on with Gemini's? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> okay, keep going. Last one. Gemini. Show me Gemini. Predominant energy for the Gemini's. 
Six of Wands. Get, getting victory over emotional changes. Getting big victory over the cycles and rhythms you're going through. Good. What is their greatest challenge in September? What is uh, Gemini's greatest challenge in September? Money. You might get money. You have a gift coming because you overcame emotionally, which means somebody you beat, beat the hell out of all this negativity and rose above it. Good for you. People are seeing that too. People ought to be giving you some kudos for your lovely talents and your choices. Yeah, your energy, your breakthrough is whatever happens here in your September, it's going to be positive. This is a Queen of Wands, upright, and this is your breakthrough. Um, it's associated with what? Nine of Swords in reverse. So in other words, there's going to be a complete revitalization um, going on. It's going to change the way you're looking at something, and you're going to start feeling more positive and hopeful. You've put invested in something. I surely do want it to come back and bless me. What is the advice? Stay on the move. Your advice is to trust your intuition as to where and when you should go, but be sure to go wherever that is, whatever that is, whatever you're being called to by your divine. Tell me the particular outcome. Ah, three of cups celebrating. Yeah. Enjoying people's company, being with friends, going out, enjoying, maybe having a dance or a drink, something of that nature. But Gemini, that's a nice thing. Um, tell me, all right, so tell me who is Gemini going to be dealing with predominantly in the month of September? The hangman. Got victory over somebody because they're hanging and they're just not really all that involved. They're hanging still. They can't move or they won't move from where they are or move a forward movement. It could be a Pisces. Tell me about the, more about them. Three of Pentacles. It could also be somebody that's hanging because they've got already got a family. They've already got something going on. All right? They're committed somewhere. Tell me their challenge when it comes to you. Whoever this is. The Queen of Pentacles, it's their spouse. Somebody's spouse is in the house. You know what I mean? Tell me about her. Tell me about her. And so Gemini knows as well. Tell us about her. Six of Swords in reverse. She just can't get the shit together and leave. If that's what she's trying to do. She can't. She doesn't have peace of mind. Just so you know. So they're, about, they're dealing with that. What does that mean? To clarify that. Queen of Swords. This person is really uh, very mentally distressed over maybe finding out about you. I don't know, male or female. It doesn't matter. These are not gender specific. Tell me about their breakthrough, though. So their breakthrough is the Six of Cups. Maybe it's something from their past, someone from their past. Maybe you're from their past. Tell me more about this. Why is their breakthrough the Six of Cups? Four of Swords, because they've been praying for you. This is somebody you were in a relationship with or, or did meet or wanted to be with, but they were married or connected, and that person's really got them distressed or they're very distressed. It's, they're thinking of you constantly. And the Four of Swords, they're praying and meditating on this. Absolutely. King of Wands and you pop their bubble. You give them excitement, whoever this is. You make them want to live, right? They want to fight for you in a way. I feel like it. Tell me what their advice would be, though, for you when it comes to you. So they don't, you know what I mean? So they don't cross the line or they don't offend you. Their advice, see, look at this. Seven of Swords. Why did they come out of Seven of Swords? Which is kind of a deceitful, not truthful energy. They might actually come towards you like that. The devil. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. They're hiding something. Their advice is to hide what? They're hermiting. They could be hiding somebody who's somebody else who's hermiting, pulling back, being unseen, doing a lot of work at night, um, looking over everything. They're just like spying on somebody 
at night and they might be getting a little bit carried away emotionally and they're lying to themselves about something and that's the truth they don't have any temperance at this time they don't have self-control they don't have control over their own temple yeah and if they came in right now watch out ten of cups is in reverse they're they're coming in absolutely miserable because they can't end their relationship or the cycle they're in if they come in they're going to come in very broke very broke in very out, out in the cold and um, knight of swords and they could just right on top of everything lay more shit on you and you'll be stuck with it and you don't want that crap no why is that because you have the ten of pentacles coming and the sun and the Eight of Pentacles, which is hard work, hard work, achievement, focusing, and you're going to have options. So whatever this is, you have complete control over it. And it is what it is, right? Let's look at what the angels want to say to you this month. Geminis, please. Initiation into something new. Achievement, eight, that's the hard work. Initiation into something new. Healing the inner child from dealing with narcissistic, uh, robotic people that come in and expect something and, and they try to hold power over you, but they can't really because if they're committed to somebody else, they're just tainting you. All you want is joy. You want to be free. Even if they did want you, they'd be coming with very foul energy. Please know that. Wonders, wonders of wonders, Gemini. Trust God for your blessings, okay? Trust me. He wants you to be happy. There's happiness and joy. So what does Michael the Archangel say to Gemini? Have no fear, honey. Be strong. Fear is a trap of the ego. Allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings that are holding you back. All right. Michael the Archangel wants to help you to free yourself of that. And all you have to do is say, Michael the Archangel, servant of the living God, I ask for you to help cut off the thoughts of this person or the cords that are attached to someone who is karmic or un actually unavailable. Help me to cut off the cords and to fearlessly go forward and protect my own energy so that I can be happy, actually happy, and find my joy. You might need help from other people, my dears. In the near future, something's going down for you. And your ancestors are right on the job. So know this, that uh, this is a pretty strong reading. And I hope that it helps you. Let me know if it does. Uh, the best way would be to hit the like button so that the, this video can actually circulate um, through the algorithm. Um, they have a tendency to start making you public and then making you unpublic and then making you public. It's not a joke. It's very weird out here on the YouTube uh, algorithm and so if you help me out I will continue to help you out for those of you who would like to bless my channel there are uh, all the links are down below and you really are keeping me alive I thank you very much and if you appreciate these readings this is your outcome joy happiness and healing now as far as new love coming in let's take a peek Okay, you were dealing with deception. They want you to be very clear about that. They flirted with you and they were deceptive. They led you on. So you retreated because that's what your heart said to do. They want to reconcile. But you they don't have any finances and career. They'll probably bum off of you. You're filled with romantic feelings for some specific specific person, a true love. What is the higher consciousness of this? Spirit has awoken within you and you're very, very aware who is and who is not for you. You're healing your inner child. And, and this, excuse my language, but this buffoon needs to be out of your space completely. They are not even equal to you. And I don't know how you met them. I do not appreciate the way they have come at you, lied to you, hooked on you, holding an energy onto you from the far, um, you know, uh, horny nights thinking about you, you know, checking out, spying on your, uh, your public image. And you know what I'm talking about? This person's kind of sick. 
And so you have to get away from them and find your joy. This is a good month to make that choice if you haven't. I'm not telling someone to leave someone that's got a, got a very good chance of having a good relationship. I'm suggesting you put yourself first. That would probably be the best way to handle this. May you be blessed. Thank you for your love and support. And if you want to get in on mini ratings with me, when I go live, the only people I'm going to read for in my lives will be people that uh, are have joined the channel. The cost is only $2.99 a month. It's not pricey at all. And to have me here to read for you uh, is kind of fun because I can tap into things that you need to hear. And um, I have been doing it for many years, actually. I'm not new at this, honeys. So the joy is coming. The right person's coming. They have to swim like you, go in the same direction as you. They have to think like you. Look at the twins. You know what I mean? Um, you need to spend some time, uh, if you haven't found them yet, to be careful not to just get caught up in any old relationship, right? You have to be able to relate. This is what we have for you, darlings. I thank you for your love. Namaste.